but um, after that um, I kind of dropped tanks completely. I tried, um, what was the other modern tank one? Armored Warfare. Didn't get far with that either. But um, yeah, it's sort of, War Thunder is, is kind of a similar style game and it requires a lot of investment and I just don't have time to do it. Um, so that that's kind of why I didn't bother. Okay, nothing new there. We will sleep till November. See what the grass is like. Oh, I just blew through the planting time, didn't I? No. Oh. Oh dear. Right. Let's take it easy. Lots of bailing contracts. I really don't want to do more bailing contracts. Um, calendar. Okay, last month in which we can plant wheat barley until spring. We looked at the contracts. We didn't look at what's for sale. Oh, auger wagon for sugar beets. Interesting. Telehandler. Um, could kind of use one of those. That would be good if we could plant cotton and if we were looking to be cotton farmers. Neither is the case. So, gonna... Oh, it's raining. Okay, now we need you, dude. Oh, and we have weeds too. So I am going to need to <coughs> do something about the weeds. Uh, actually, I don't need to do something about the weeds because the if I seed the fields, that will kill the weeds for now. Oh, and we also have potatoes to move. So, I think we're going to sell potatoes. Uh, why don't my potatoes have flowers on them? They stop growing or something. Uh, there are waters. There are seeds, there are solid fertilizers. They've hardly used any solid fertilizer or seeds in water. So, what about outgoing products? Tomatoes, tomatoes, potatoes, 758. Okay, so we just have a ton of potatoes outside. I think I turned the engine off on that. I want to go and check on our grass because if our grass is grown then I do want to yeah see this is far more luscious and has a bad pH uh, potential harvest quantity 69,000 um, what am I looking at ready to harvest yes okay so the plan with that field is once that has been cut I will lease probably a subsoiler and reset the needs plowed state on it. Uh, after that we can then start messing with the other things. I think for right now we have potatoes to move. Um, I'm still getting into precision farming, but um, yes, um, I believe there are compromises that must be made. Um, things I've noted is that, um, oh, come on, left. Uh, using herbicide is not 
ideal for the yield on your equi uh, on your fields and precision farming demands that you use uh, herbicide now the spot and spray supposedly doesn't affect it but from what I've seen it does seem to and I may uh, may play with that later as I've said so far I think seriously come on dude where we're sitting at the moment uh, I yield is the most important thing um, at this stage later on environmental um, score may be the most important thing so for this year I am really looking at mechanical solutions for um, for weeds um, still getting 125 yeah I don't know and it may be because yield is maxed at 125 that so long as you're doing enough thing you know it sort of you get plus for this minus for that etc etc and it may be for example that grass field has not been plowed but if I do everything else right with it it may be that it just says it doesn't matter um, <clears throat> that 25% minus 25% is, is overcome with all of the good things you're doing so doing one bad thing isn't bad if you get my drift but, uh, well, as I said we've got time to science that so we'll look at that probably later this is awkward oh look I got flowers on my uh, potatoes again yay uh, so yes yeah, straight away now we'll we'll get the potatoes sold because well hey it's raining and not a great time to uh, work in the fields and get our tractors sunk in them <clears throat> but then once we've done that um, I think we will have to buy some um, baling equipment and get set up oh yeah that's kind of not going to work should have considered that I guess <clears throat> so we've got the bat wing mower I think the working width on that is a little bit wider than a uh, baler pickup I'm not sure well I could buy a rake and um, probably lease a baler wrapper I don't think I've got all the money I need but we do want to turn that grass field behind the cow field into something productive and have the equipment going forward to do that for the first two seasons and the third season they went there. Okay. Also the other issue with a lot of the precision farming um, equipment is you have to pay out for the attachments. So we paid out for the fertilization um, nitrogen sensors on the tractor they're not too expensive but the whole spot and spray thing 
that's a little bit pricey and again we're trying not to burn through money so part of the reason for having this little plot of uh, you know almost daily production does mean that I can uh, we have a constant income without having to uh, mess with uh, bailing contracts all week. Not the greatest of stacking, but at this stage we don't have a lot of it to do. So I think with the cash we've got now, we'll concentrate mostly on getting our grass field cut. And... If we're making silage bales, I'll load them on the back of the trailer to ferment. You probably shouldn't do that, but we will. <clears throat> and then it's going to take... They're not going to be ready till December. Oh, they're not going to be ready till December. So part of my thoughts there was we can use the proceeds from that to pay for a cedar. But uh, obviously that may not be a thing either. And I think I'll put that on the far side towards the front. Um, I'm not, I honestly don't know. Um, I do have a lot of equipment mods load downloaded I don't necessarily have them all active for this game save normally what I do is I have the script mod so we have things like the uh, the stop harvester mod so I don't have to worry about reading text while I'm harvesting and then killing half the crop Um, and there's there's a couple of others that I have loaded obviously the obvious ones are things like the uh, equipment wear mod so I can see which bits of equipment need maintenance uh, but they're all um, I, I always start with those so again if I'm playing with precision farming I will make sure precision farming is loaded at the start we're playing with variable field prices so again that was loaded from the start um, but then after that equipment I think I've selected some so we now do have the Kubota equipment active on this game save um, and we are using some Kubota equipment as um, yeah, we leased the lime spreader, for example, because it's kind of a handy thing to have at times. Um, I do believe straw harvest is coming back. I do not know the progress on that, but I did see that... Um, Oh, who are they? The farming agency were working on precision farming. I think, um, I believe GTX is also part of the farming agency. Um, back in Farm Sim 17, he was his own uh, modder, but he joined the farming agency. He does. Um, he did the AR frame system that we used on Lawfold's farm, but um, there's a bunch of other stuff. Um, 
And if if you look carefully, you will see mods on the mod hub flagged as GTX. Um, and he is involved with things like um, oh, um, I can't remember. But as far as equipment goes, we're not we're not very deep in equipment. I don't think. Um, Antonio Carrera, I've got. Uh, the armor track for some reason Deut 6.6 one 10 series Fords I have the 165 the MF 3000 a T4 and a T5 and the problem with a lot of these is they won't accept the crop sensors um, I don't think that's as big a deal on something like the Ford or the masses I do think that's a big deal for something like the T5. So that kind of needs a, a boost. Um, mediums, we've added uh, Axion 800, that's a CMT software, Smetty. Uh, series 7, Series 8, um, the 40 series, I think that's Black Sheep. Um, the 6M, I can't remember who did that, but there's three flavors of that one. And then in large tractors, I believe I've got the Zerian 3000 and the Atco 1000. I didn't have the Zerian 3000, that's interesting. And the Series 9 Deutz. So uh, potential that we might end up with a Deutz heavy um, fleet, large fleet. zoom out now but a lot of the time with equipment I get to the point where oh I need uh, a thing that wasn't quite what I was planning to do And so what I'll then do is I'll go out and look for the thing. Or, oh, someone produced a really nice 250 horsepower tractor and I could kind of use one of those. Or 250 to 300. And I'll take a look at it and say, yeah, that kind of fits. And so I'll download that and add it to the game save. A lot of the time I've, I've downloaded them all. I just haven't added them to the game save until I'm ready to make use of them. Uh, right, potatoes. Price fluctuations. Best price is 209. Worst price is 135. Current price is not the best, but not the worst. And... We will tag that one. Go check out where it is. Um, where is that? Oh, okay, that's where we just were selling the bales. I think we should probably turn on all the things. Now, that is a hedge and a box. Um, how do I get out of this? Turn that way. Put it in reverse. This is that whole thing I said earlier, that these hedges are um, scripted so that bales and 
crates do not drive through them. It does make it very interesting trying to drive a tractor with a bale on the front forks and a trailer full of bales. It really doesn't work too well. Okay. is struggling. Eight thousand litres of potatoes is obviously very heavy. That's entirely possible. But yeah, using at least using this trailer. Um, where we've been assured all these hedges are stepped back from the roadside. We kind of need that because I could be driving along here and just clip that hedge and just mess everything up with the bales on the back. But for For shifting this, what I'm planning to do, depending on when the map gets released, if the map gets released, you know, end of this week, will still be on this particular version of the map. However, if it's released early enough, like it's, you know, it's 9:30, they don't release stuff till usually about 10, 11 o'clock. I find it best to check more closer to 11 because sometimes the mods drop and they don't update immediately, they update progressively and you could come in tomorrow and find mods that were released yesterday but they were released later than 10 o'clock. <coughs> 11 o'clock is a good time to sort of figure out what's what's come out I think so we'll uh, I'll check at 11 but if the if the mods out by then I should be able to um, spend some time getting us back to where we are now so there'll be things like uh, you know harvesting the field sowing the field that type of thing if I can get the sunflowers sold at a good price then I may just say um, that's sufficient we'll live with it um, and throw away whatever crop comes is that everything that's everything yeah not bad it pays the the you know the costs the daily costs for one day and that's really part of what I'm looking for is you know where we're generating stuff like potatoes we can um, update it daily and it'll offset or it'll defer the daily costs on um, oh, what is it the um, Mod, uh, what's it? Buildings that have maintenance will be paid for, and building and uh, the loan that we have, which I really want to pay back. But, uh, we'll figure out all of that stuff at a later time, I think. So yeah, I'll make a list. Obviously, we know what fields we've got. We know what equipment we have. I'll get the fields into the state they're in when um, I update the map. Um, so there may be, you know, the tractor may not be 6.9 hours old. Um, it may be younger, it may be older, but it'll be close. Um, we will have all of the equipment, although I can't guarantee that the bale trailer that I'm using is going to be in a sale. 
So, ow. Um, I'll just buy it and then we'll set the money back to what it is now and go from there. And you. There. Okay, so I now need to mow that lawn, mow that grass. Probably get the rake, we'll get I want to get a baler wrapper, which probably means I'm going to lease it this year. And yeah, we've got we got the flat bed behind me, so that's fine. also going to need to get a planter back to the farm and again might might just lease one and uh, live with that come on where's the end there we go Another improvement I am thinking, if we get um, uh, Cavalier Roy did said say we're getting all of the buildings on the map as uh, placeables. Oh, it's done it again. So. One of my thoughts is possibly demolish that shed that's directly in front of us and if we get it, put the silage bunker and double it up. Um, I do like to have, I, I found silage bunkers Let's see, I'm not sure if it's that one No, it's not that one but you can, if you place one, you can place one directly adjacent to it and it'll snap to it. So if we get this, then hopefully, I can't really rotate. There we go. Hopefully, I'll be able to place a second one here. Also, hopefully, it won't come too far out. But then we can have silage developing and then. Once we start using that one, we can start dumping.